an adeptai disciple with the most unusual air about her. Having spent much time cultivating in isolation in Li Wei's mountains, she has become every bit as cool and distant as the adeptai themselves. So who is this mysterious wandering white-haired adeptus? Hello, my name is Pebbles, and join me in figuring out the question, who is Shenha from Genshin Impact? Born from a family branch of an exorcist clan, Shenha had a normal and happy life as a child. That is, until Shenha's mother contracted an illness and died from it. Her father, having loved his wife dearly, found that agony hard to bear, and over time, left in search for secrets and techniques that could possibly bring his wife back. After being gone for almost a year, Shenha's father returns. Along with him, a new knowledge about a secret art known as Fate Transference. Fate Transference is believed to be a ritual sacrificial art that could exchange a living person's body for a dead one's life. At the time, Shenhe was unaware of the fate that was in store for her as she was only an ordinary child. Happy to see her father return, Shenhe's father claimed that he had a surprise for her in a cave by the mountains. But instead of giving a gift fitting for a child, her father summoned a black sealy into the cave with blood-red eyes ready to consume the unfortunate child's life force. Shinha knew that the creature wanted to eat her, but she did not want to die. She wanted to live. Armed with an exorcism dagger, a keepsake that she got from her mother, Shinha faced the dark Sili, despite not being taught a single thing about exorcism. As death loomed closer and closer, the gods looked upon the girl with favor. A bright crystalline object falls into her hands, a vision, tipping the balance of the fight to her favor. Several days later, an adeptus following a trail of great evil investigated the cave, only to find the little girl, weakened, her life hanging by a thread. Taking pity on the child and seeing that the girl possessed great talent, being able to repel and fight off an evil force, the adeptus took the child, healed her, and taught her in the ways of the adepti. In Liwei, people have their own fortune-telling methods, similar to Mondstadt's astrology. Of all the fates that the people seek, there are two types of fate that you should avoid at all costs. First would be the solitary star, which dictates a life of isolation, separated from friends and family, meant to live alone all your days. The other fate is the disastrous evil, which means that one will have to face many hardships and perils throughout life. When the Adepti rescued Shenha, Mooncarver, one of the Adepti, read into the child's fortune. The signs showed that she was marked by both the solitary star and the disastrous evil. Due to her ominous destiny, the Adepti ensured that she would grow up safely and not harm others. And so, the Adepti bound her soul using red ropes, restraining her evil fate and her violent tendencies. Shenha would grow to become one of the Adepti students. Her impressive constitution and intelligence quickly won her their favor, and Shenha would go to eventually become a master of the Adeptal Arts despite being a mortal. However, due to the long years of isolation from humans and due to her binding ropes shackling her emotions, Shenha has grown distant and indifferent to the usual life of mortals, becoming less and less human. But surprisingly, she felt something stir within her when she encountered the traveler from the distant land. Long dormant emotions that are now strange to her came loose all at once. Perhaps it really was as Moon Carver said, the heaven might dictate fates, but destiny's tale is written by mortals. The tale of Shenha and the mortal world had not yet ended. Thanks for watching this story time video. If you like more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and uh, share the video. It helps out a lot. You can catch me both on Facebook Gaming and on YouTube. So I'll see you there. That's going to be it for today. I'll catch you guys next time and stay safe out there. Bye.